Hey guys, Ross from Natural Aesthetics here. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how I've utilized drop sets and rest pulls in my new training program um, to further the intensity of my working sets. So having switched from a full body style routine where I was training three days a week and pretty much doing as much volume as I could manage as I could fit in time-wise for each session, I'm now upping the intensity and you know reducing the volume per session, reducing the time spent in the gym per session but increasing the frequency. So I'm now training six days a week as opposed to three, doing three pull and three push sessions each week. I'm only doing one set per exercise at the moment. There's potential for more sets there as I progress over the next few weeks. But essentially, really just trying to maximize the intensity of each um, exercise and each set that I do. So here I'm demonstrating my drop sets with dumbbell incline press for my chest. 50k for 5, 32.5k for 10, and then... Uh, 22.5k for 12 I believe. I wouldn't really recommend uh, rest pause because the first rep is so difficult to get up you're going to waste a lot of energy you know if you're doing five six seven reps on that first set and then rest in 10 seconds you might not even get the next one up when you try and flick it up. So I stick to drop sets on my dumbbell incline press basically allowing me to get a lot of volume in in a very short space of time by dropping the weight and, and you know bashing out more reps in quick succession. So now these are some tricep overhead extensions with the easy bar utilizing some rest pause. So I'm resting 10 to 12 seconds in between each set um, in order to maximize the amount of reps I can do in a short space of time. So to be honest, this weight was maybe a little heavy, maybe just a kilo heavy. Um, so it made the subsequent second and third sets very challenging to uh, get the reps out because it's an isolation movement as opposed to a compound. I'll be happy with the lower rep ranges on the compound lifts. You know, it's first week of doing it, and going into the second, I'll, I'll have a better idea of kind of where to start and how to improve on that. Now, these are chest supported rows for my back, so you're fixed into position. There's no momentum, there's no cheating with this movement. So, I'm using again rest pause, pretty much the same three working sets. The first set, you're, you're looking really just to stop short just before failure, rest. And then again, look to you know add another maybe two, three reps, maybe four onto that tally, and then subsequently the last set, looking at maybe one to three. Depends on the exercise really. These are very difficult to keep the elbows in the same position. So once the elbows drop too far, it's kind of time to end the set. You're not really getting that contraction that you would um, hope for for your back training. You know, with with chest, it's it's obvious when you fail because the bar doesn't go up any further. Um, so you have to bear that in mind when you are training your back movements. Kind of just know when the set's over and, and don't really push it any further. So thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more natural bodybuilding videos. Email naturalaesthetic at outlook.com for any info on online coaching. Stay strong.